Alright guys, welcome back to the 6-7 Cummins build. Anywho, ended up sticking the wrong bolts inside here. So I had two of these bolts. And they are they were the wrong bolt. Anyway, I found the right bolts of it within my plethora of bolts. And then these bolts are for the oil pump. I remembered they were 13 millimeter. <clears throat> 13 millimeter. Um, because uh, remember when I was trying to take them out, I had a 10, a 12, a 15, and something else when I was disassembling the engine at my brother's house. And I remember my brother accused me of losing his 13 millimeter socket. Um, because I had to take these out and these out. And uh, anyway, so I'm Loctiting all these bolts. So all these cover bolts have Loctite in them. Um, anything inside here is going to have Loctite. This way they don't rattle loose and get inside of all this. So today I'm going to torque those down and I'm going to install the oil pump. Ugh, it's heavy. Um, well, this cable actually is held up quite well for what it is, with it just being clamped to the bed. So anyway, let me get you guys all set up in here, um, and I'll install the oil pump, I guess. It's really not that hard, just four bolts. Four bolts, and, uh, yeah, awesome. So I'll get you guys set up, I'll get it all lubed up and everything, and uh, go from there. Alright, here we go guys. So, <clears throat> here's the instructions. Basically talks about when installing the pump, verify that the idler gear pin is installed in the locating bore, which is this right here. Um... Uh, yeah, tighten the oil pump, mounting bolts in four steps in the sequence shown below or above. So, you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, step one, tighten four foot pounds, ten foot pounds, fourteen, eighteen. The back plate surface A, seat against, blah, 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 blah. Crankshaft gear, backlash, which will be <clears throat> fifteen to 0.15 to 0.25 millimeter or six thousandths to ten thousandths. Failure to do the following instructions lead to premature wear and engine damage. So I don't know what they're gonna, what you're supposed to do if it doesn't. It doesn't tell you how you can adjust that. So anyway, so it basically just says to lube it. So I'm gonna take a bunch of assembly lube. And I'm just going to put assembly lube in there, all around in here. Um, then I'll just spin the, spin it. I don't know if you guys are in view. Anyway, getting that all nice and lubed up in there. Get nice and deep. Get in there nice and deep, boy. Anyway. So, I'm just going to lube all that crap. Taking this. Going to work it in there. Work it in there nice and good. So, oh yeah, that's, that's no play right there. Perfect, beautiful, wonderful, awesome. So, got that. Like I said before. <clears throat> putting Loctite, some removable Loctite. I don't want nothing too permanent, even though I probably should be using permanent, but sticking them in there, put some Loctite on them. You don't need to go too crazy with Loctite. I just do a little, little dab. And then once you start threading it, it'll get on all the threads. So, anyway, uh, 
Yeah, I've run all those down. And then uh, tighten them all to the recommended torque, which this socket is not going to work. It'll work for down here, but it won't work for up there. So, yeah, pretty basic, pretty easy. Just torquing it. I'm just gonna torque it to spec. And I'll do the same with these. These two up there. So let me go get a 13. Go get a different socket real quick. Fancy torque wrench. So we'll go to turn this crap on. I don't even know if it can do four foot pounds. Nope. This one will not do four foot pounds. Um. Let's do something else. I'm gonna have to use a quarter inch or something. Hmm. Let's see, 13 is gone. Alright. So, that's what happens when you've got all the tools that you don't have. So we'll have to do inch pounds, so we'll set this at um, 48 inch pounds. So we got inch pounds. So this is 40, and then we'll go to 8. 48 inch pounds. We're going to torque it 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1. So this is going to be like nothing, so one, two, three, four. So that's basically like hand tight. Then we'll go to 10, or sorry, uh, 120 inch pounds. So we're going to come all the way up to... 120 inch pounds right there. So we'll go one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to go to 168 inch pounds. So go all the way down to 160, and then we'll go to Eight. That's why I don't like doing these videos because they're boring. So one, two, three, four. And then the last step is two hundred and sixteen inch pounds. So we got two hundred right there. Two hundred. 210, 216. So this will be our last one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just going to tighten these ones down. The same, they're the same diameter bolt, the same everything. So. 
So that's it. We'll go around one more time. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that's at least, at least what it recommends. And always, always back your torque wrenches off to at least zero. I always like to go below zero until there's no tension on it. So that is the oil pump installation. It is a Melling oil pump. There you go. Ooh, beautiful. Ooh. Anyway, that's the box right there. Melling oil pump. And uh, I don't know if there's a part number on there. If there is, it might be right there somewhere. So, anyway. Oh, definitely not. Oh, she's right there where I said it was. So, anyway, I don't have the part number. It's on that box somewhere, but it's in the middle of the bed. So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. That's the oil pump installation of... The 6.7 Cummins build, so I'll put a little lube on here, get that all lubed up, and uh, <clears throat> I'll probably check the backlash off the camera, um, just because i got to set up a dial indicator and all the other fancy junk, and I'll do that off the camera. So, alright guys, thanks for watching, make sure you guys give me a like, make sure you guys subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you're liking the series. I know some of you guys are. Some of you guys want to see the project crack pipe back in progress. But I got to get this motor done. I got a lot of a lot of funds, a lot of money in this motor. And I want to try to get some of it back. Or most of it back. Or all of it back. And uh, so I want to get it painted, get it done. And sell this thing. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys comment below. Give me a like. Subscribe. Later.